Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Cheap Graphics Card. Starting at number 5 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 is one of the few NVIDIA graphics cards from the Ampere era that is anything close to being considered a budget graphics card, and for what it is, it's a solid choice for 1080p gaming. It also comes with a lot of features that AMD cards simply don't have, like machine learning enabled deep learning super sampling, DLSS, technology, and tensor cores to not just play games at fast frame rates, but also to handle creative workloads that even the best AMD graphics cards will stumble over. Still, it's expensive for an NVIDIA XX50 series card, with the GTX 1050 and GTX 1650 launching for nearly half the price of the RTX 3050. Such is the state of the industry though, and with graphics card price inflation being what it is, this is probably the lowest price you'll pay for a graphics card with this kind of performance and advanced features. Coming at number 4. Intel Arc A750. Intel has come a long way with its Arc graphics cards since they launched, and the Arc A750 offers solid 1080p, and even 1440p, performance at a very attractive price tag. And, thanks to Intel's fairly extensive history with AI-powering hardware, its Intel CSS super sampling technology fares shockingly well against NVIDIA's much more mature DLSS technology, even if it ultimately has to take second place to the likes of the RTX 3060. What's more, its ray tracing hardware is also surprisingly solid for a first-generation discrete graphics card, and it can play some games like Returnal like a dream. Other games though might not fare as well, especially older DX9 and DX10 titles, but Intel is regularly updating its drivers, so a lot of these issues will likely get straightened out in time. If you're okay with some growing pains, there's a lot to like about Intel's A750. At number 3. AMD Radeon RX 6600. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 isn't that far behind the RX 6600 XT when it comes to performance, but this slimmed-down version of the Navi 23 GPU is a much more appealing option for a dedicated capital B budget build. Featuring some very respectable 1080p performance and support for features like AMD Radeon Super Resolution, this card can easily play the best PC games at 1080p with frame rates north of 30 frames per second, if not closer to 60 frames per second on some medium lift games, on high or maximum settings. All the while, this graphics card is a good bit cheaper than AMD's XT variant, so if you're looking to get the best performance at the lowest price, with an emphasis on price, then this is the card you need to be considering. Number 2 of my list. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 The NVIDIA RTX 4060 has frustrated some folks out there who were looking for the kind of gen-on-gen -gen performance uplift we saw with more expensive NVIDIA Lovelace offerings like the RTX 4070, but these demands are misplaced. The RTX 4060 is a fantastic mid-range graphics card that's easy to find under $300-slash-pound-300 right now, which is less than some NVIDIA RTX 3060 cards still on the market. It's not the kind of card that will blow you away if you already have an RTX 3060 or better, but if you're coming from older NVIDIA or AMD hardware, as most gamers will be, this card will be nothing short of a revelation, all for less than the launch price of the RTX 3060 it replaces. It's not a perfect card, obviously. Its biggest misfire is the 8GB VRAM and 128-bit memory bus, which pretty much limits how much performance you'll be able to squeeze out at 1440p, but it's still doable, especially with the advances that DLSS 3 brings to the table. And number 1. AMD Radeon RX 7600. The AMD Radeon RX 7600 is here to bring AMD RDNA 3 to the under dash dollar 300 slash pound 300 segment, and it's got plenty of performance despite its lower price tag. Its 1080p performance is absolutely fantastic for the price, even giving the NVIDIA RTX 3060T 12GB a run for its money. Its 1440p performance is also pretty decent considering that the card only has 8GB VRAM and a 128-bit memory bus. 
In terms of gaming performance, you can easily get 60 frames per second on all of the best PC games at 1080p, with most of those running on the highest graphics settings. For more demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, there might need to be some settings tweaks, but it's still definitely doable, especially with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Its ray tracing performance is still behind NVIDIA's last-gen mid-range cards, but RDNA 3 has definitely closed much of the gap between the two, so you don't have to sacrifice ray tracing completely just by going with a cheaper AMD card. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.